I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video and the hottest day ever in England. It's hot, it's hot one. Um, I can't quite believe I'm filming a haul today, but here we are. I have done my slip back classic bum look, which I am just living with at the minute, which actually I've been wearing because of the heat. However, I actually quite like the look and the ease of being able to do this because this is like day four, day five hair and it's just slick back, no need to wash it. Um, so yeah, this is why hair is up off the face, minimal makeup on today, nice lightweight, comfortable fabrics that I have ordered from H&M. So I have a big H&M haul for you today. If you want to see some new in bits that I have been loving that I've picked up recently, then just keep on watching the rest of this video. Make sure you are set and ready though with a nice ice cold drink today. In fact, the drink that I am drinking of late is this from my, um, from Air Up, which if you haven't heard me talk about this before, this bottle is genius. They've got a new flavor out. Um, so they're very kindly partnering with me on today's video to introduce you to the new iced peach tea flavor. This tastes, well, I say tastes incredible. I guess you say smells incredible because if you're new to the concept and have never heard me talk about Air Up before, it is a water bottle filled it with loads of ice today because I feel like it's needed with that extra refreshing hit of hydration. Ice is needed. So it's a water bottle which you can interchange and mix and match the colours. I've got a kind of pale blue colour, Tom's got a black one and the pods on top that you can buy separately, you essentially have loads of different flavours to choose from. You pop the pod on you lift it to activate it and it's a scented pod that through the slipstream of you drinking the water and smelling the pod makes you feel like you're drinking flavoured water when in fact it's just good old plain tap water in there. It also just makes me drink so much more water. It's a win for me. You can get the kind of like minty um, flavour coming through there as well. So yes, I'm keeping hydrated. Thank you to Arup for kindly working with me on today's video. I'll leave a link in the description box where you can check Arup out and there brand new flavour. It's delicious. Highly recommended. And then the first thing I'll share with you is actually what I'm wearing. So this jumpsuit is very lightweight, comfortable. There is a tie waist and I love the neckline. This kind of square neckline and frilly sleeve detailing is lovely. A big, big fan of this one. It is a little on the cropped side, I would say. So they're not cropped, but they are a little short. Thanks, babe. Wait. Oh, now the door's going. One second, I'll be back. If I wasn't flustered before, now I am. So if I look a little more dewy, just been running around. Basically just had a new car delivered. It's all over the show at the minute and then the electrician's coming in a second. So anyway, let's get back to this jumpsuit. This was $34.99. I got it in a medium. I'm glad I did go for a medium actually because I feel like with this sort of a piece in summer, you want it to be a bit more lightweight, a bit more floaty and it is actually still quite... I mean, there's room, but it's still quite snug. And for reference, I'm five foot five-ish and usually wear sort of a typically a 10 to 12 or a medium. Next up, I've got this balloon sleeve dress. Again, the lightweight linen fabric is just gonna be perfect for this heat. In a medium, this was only $19.99. I am a bit concerned it might be a little bit sheer and maybe better suited to a beach cover-up, but either way, it is lovely. And for $19.99, I think a bargain. So let's try this one on. Okay, this feels lovely and lightweight and comfortable. I'm really, really happy with this one. I do feel like the neckline is a little bit odd. That's the only thing, it just isn't quite sitting right. And I can't figure out what this drawstring thing is is doing. It's like, I can't pull it down or, or alter it. I love the color of it. The color actually really surprises me. Next up, I'm going to show you this set, which I ordered. This is actually one of the main reasons why I put in this huge order. When I saw this set, I was like, beautiful, gonna buy it. And then ordered a load of other bits as well. So I got the top in a medium and the bottoms in a medium as well. Okay, this is what the set looks like. I was really impressed with the price of this one. So it was $12.99 for the shorts and $12.99 for the top. They did have other colors as well. So again, I will leave this linked below along with everything that I mentioned within this video. If you want to shop anything, simply click the link in the description box. But yeah, the top, 
is, I'm, I'm glad I've gone for a medium in the top, it is kind of an oversized fit already, as are the shorts actually. I have cinched them in with this tie waist, but they do, I'd say, come up a little bit big, which I'm okay with, because I like the comfort of this kind of set. I feel like I would just wear it on a day like today when it's particularly hot, just kind of around and about the house, in and out the garden, that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this, the quality of the fabric, everything. Two thumbs up from me. Right, next up. This was a bargain, nine pounds for this lovely smocked style dress. It's quite a thin fabric. So again, better suited to maybe a beach holiday or a very hot day. I got it in, yeah, I got it in a medium. Let's try this one on. Okay, this feels so comfortable. I think because it's such a thin fabric, it just feels like I've not got anything on. It's amazing. I really like the top part, how it does up here and the tiny, tiny thin spaghetti straps are they adjustable yeah they are adjustable that surprised me because of how thin the straps are it's definitely not tight here where there's kind of ruching though so if you want it a bit more fitted i would say size down what should i try on next i'll just show you a couple of miscellaneous items that i got actually firstly from the homeware sale that they've got on i got this pack of two face cloths they were only four pounds so i thought that was a mega bag and i love something about a waffle towel or a waffle face cloth that just feels a bit more premium or a bit more hotel vibes. And then I also picked myself up a pair of shoes. These I got in a seven, I have tried them on. They're kind of cushioned at the bottom, so they're so comfortable. And because this is like a rope, it um, doesn't rub or anything. So yeah, really comfortable, a nice kind of low to mid heel height. I'm sort of six to six and a half. And a seven for me is perfect in these. And these are just gonna go with any kind of summery outfit and they are, $29.99. And then lastly for accessories, I did pick up this belt, $6.99. I just wanted a good old classic waist belt, but in brown, because I don't have one. However, I ordered this in a small and there's it's nowhere near the belt loops, belt loop holes. Okay, let's try on this. I'm actually dreading putting this on already because of the heat, but let's try it on nonetheless. I've got a pair of kind of jogging trousers. They're not joggers because they're not cuffed at the bottom. They're a bit more wider at the bottom. And then this sweatshirt, which go together great as a duo, or you can wear them as separates. How gorgeous is this color? I feel a bit naked. I've not got any jewelry on today. Um, I've not even got my watch on actually. Just going bare. I feel like when the heat's there, no jewelry hair up that kind of thing. But yeah, I really like this set. It's a bit different for me to go for a bit more of a wide leg bottom. I do really like it. it. They are a little bit big, so you can cinch them in obviously with this tie, but um, definitely comfort vibes with these ones. I think because they're not tight on the legs, they just feel all the more comfortable, all the more more comfortable. Oh, they don't have pockets, that's a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, I really like this set. I love the color of it. I feel like it's gonna transition really really nicely into autumn <laughs> autumn i can't wait let's get back into a dress now i got this one in a medium it's a really nice kind of satiny fabric really loose and floaty and comfortable but feels a bit dressier should have probably steamed it but let's try it on nonetheless this is so comfortable this is exactly how I imagined it would be in terms of the fabric just elevates it to be able to take it to more of an evening look. Paired with some heels, maybe even those little rope sandals would look cute for like a summer's evening or like a family barbecue or something where it's a bit dressier or you're having drinks and cocktails in the sunshine. Yeah, it just feels just a little bit nicer because of the fabric, but it's still very light and floaty. It's a nice length as well, actually, for me. It just kind of goes to the knee, which I personally prefer. Just, I'm not about short skirt life anymore. So yeah, this is much more comfortable for me. I'm really, really happy with this one. How much was it? I think I forgot to tell you how much these were as well. $17.99 for the joggers, which I got in a medium. $19.99 for the top, which I got in a large. And then this dress is in a medium at $17.99. I did also stock up on some basics. I actually got loads of basics, which I'll show you in a second, like crop top, bralette style tops, which I really find H&M do really, really well. But I also picked up three basic uh, linen vests. I got them all in a medium. They were all 9 99 and they're just a good classic staple. I actually could do with some more white ones, to be completely honest with you. But um, on this occasion, I've picked up a kind of 
nudie beige, a classic black, and then this one I particularly love. It's like a real deep khaki green. I love that one. I feel like I had a white one from H&M that just lasted me years and years and years. So ever since, I just... H&M is my go-to for linen basics, or any basics, to be honest with you. I'll try it on the black one so you can see what it looks like on, and I'll try it on with these shorts that I got in a UK 12. These were 19.99, and they're just a nice high-waisted. These ones are quite short, though, to be honest with you. But they're just like a tailored short. I do think for a 12, these look pretty snug, but let's try them on. Okay, so this is what the vest and shorts look like together. I feel like they actually work quite well together. I think I would wear this outfit. I need to change my bra because I've just got a nude one. I'd probably just put the same little triangle bra that I've got on, but in black, which I get from Primark. Although I have ordered some more from H&M, so maybe one of my H&M ones. Um, these are short, um, but they're quite a loose bottom, so they're not too snug whereby your thigh skin is bulging out of your shorts, like some denim shorts that I've seen recently do. Not a good look. <laughs> so they're a bit more of a tailored, kind of smarter short while still being quite short. But yeah, this is what this set looks like. I'm really happy with this. I can't wait to wear these linen vests in this kind of weather. Just the dream. You can wear these a bit smarter as well, you know, with like high-waisted trousers, blazer thrown over the top, heels on for evening. I did also grab a basic hoodie, 15 pounds. This one was in the sale. Got it in a large and I got it because it's just a really nice grey mar colour and it's a zippable one, which I don't have in a grey. So I thought I would, oh yeah, it's so thin and lightweight. This is lovely. Oh, it's so soft and cosy on the inside whilst not being too, you know, too heavy and too much. It is a large and it is quite oversized. I mean, look at the sleeves on them. But I feel like when you just want it to be super cosy and comfortable, then... Yeah, hoodies and stuff I always size up in anyway. Next up, I've got this co-ord here. These are priced quite differently, actually. It's $17.99 for the bottoms, which are a kind of thin rib, high waist, very, very comfortable just for around the house. But they've got a slight flare to them at the bottom. And then the top is only $8.99. So yeah, I mean, it is only a little kind of ribbed bralette though. Bralette crop top. You could definitely wear this just on its own though. And actually wear it out and about as a layering piece whereas these and this is a set I would just wear for around the house so let's try them on I did get them in a medium and a medium okay this one I'm not a fan of at all I'm getting got a bit of heat rash on my chest but you can definitely see it in this top because it's very low um and also the the bottoms are so clingy and uncomfortable they're not too small for me though because the waist is actually quite big they're just I just actually don't find them that comfortable or flattering. I don't feel very good in this set, so I'm gonna leave this one and move on swiftly. Okay, back into something a little more comfortable and the last few bits that I've got to share with you are just kind of like little bralettes and little basics. I did pick up these cycle shorts at 9 99 I just wear these for like dog walks and stuff. I don't ever like properly style them up. I wear them for comfort. With a big oversized tee, my little bum bag, proper dog mum, I know, um, in a medium. They're not actually nice and thick, those ones, because nothing worse than a see-through pair of leggings or cycle shorts. Then I got this little ribbed halter neck top. This is something a little bit different for me. Let's just kind of show you the vibe. Should have probably tried this one, but little halter neck top. It is ribbed, and this one was only five pounds. I got it in a medium. It's like throwing me back to my childhood wearing holes neck tops. This one, unfortunately, is going straight back. It was only five pounds and it's a beautiful kind of cut out detail crop top. However, it is too small for me. It's in a small and it's from the divided section. So I guess should have figured, but they only had a small left. So I decided to risk it, but it's too tight, way too tight and just well, like I say, couldn't even get that one on. These were also five pounds in the sale, just a three pack of basic kind of cheeky style bottoms. A nice and high waisted, this is like comfy attire underwear. And I picked them up in a medium. This is lovely. However, I feel like if it's got a matching set or matching parts of it, then I'd maybe prefer it. It's a little ribbed thin knit top. It was 12 99 and it does feel lovely. I love the color and the fabric of it. But like I said, just on its own, um, maybe I could wear it with my 
like some high-waisted trousers or jeans or something. But this is in a medium. I feel like these had matching bottoms. Last but not least, I got this two pack of little bras. I say little bras, they're actually more of like a crop top. So they are padded and they've got shaping to them, but there's no underwire. So nice and comfortable and to be worn, I would say just as a top on its own with a bit of support that you can layer up, maybe throw something on over the top. That's the last thing I got. Thank you once again to Air Up for kindly working with me on today's video. I feel like I need to down this right now. In fact, all the ice is melted, so I need to go stock up on some more ice. <sighs> down this, rehydrate and just chill out for the rest of the afternoon, to be honest with you. Feet up and editing kind of day because it is too hot to be filming any more videos. I will leave a link to the Air Up bottle down below for you to check it out along with the links to all of the clothing items that I have featured within today's video. Thank you to you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.